Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa. If you are new here, your favorite problematic housewife. Today we're going to be talking about Annie from 10 to Life and her recent partnership with another channel called Law and Crime. I found an article and I wanted to read it with you guys today because I recently found out that Lauren Crime has partnered with Annie from 10 to Life and I was like, you have got to be kidding me. And as you guys know, I'm working on a deep dive on Annie and in my research, I discovered an article that and this article was announcing the partnership between them two. And this is crazy because Law and Crime is supposed to be like this big channel that is your reliable, unbiased source of true crime information. They do cases, interviews, they um, stream like corporate, like courts and trials of a lot of popular cases that are happening and it's a big channel it's a big deal and people respect and take law and crime seriously now there are some people who i've heard have issues with law and crime and i haven't really dug into them too much or anything i watch them here and there if there's a trial i want to watch or want to see their coverage but when i heard that they were going to be partnering with annie one of the biggest true crime creators on youtube that spreads gossip and misinformation and speculates she implies people are guilty before they've even been tried and convicted i mean she did a whole mess with sophie long a whole mess with kylie rodney which she recently deleted all of her coverage on kylie rodney which i think is very interesting and she gave me a crappy response but anyway she gave me a crappy excuse of why she deleted all her coverage and then it came out that Ryan Upchurch is potentially being sued by Kylie Rodney's family. So it makes me wonder if that's the real reason why she got rid of all that coverage. But she did say I could email her a list of questions or if I had any questions. So I definitely am going to be doing that. But let's get into this article. We're going to go over this article and it's, I'm going to give you my opinion in between. We're going to read it. It's laughable, you guys. It is a joke. Like, I literally will never take law and crime seriously ever again. Get a load of this, you guys. The full article will be linked down below. Legal and true crime network Law and Crime has announced its newest YouTube partnership with Annie Elise Tent Alive, which is now available to view on Law and Crime's channel. This partnership is part of a larger effort on Law and Crime's behalf to collaborate with <laughs> and amplify talented creators who deliver fresh takes on high profile cases. What? What? Wait, what? Let me read that again. Let me back up. Law and Crimes, we have to collaborate with and amplify talented creators who deliver fresh takes on high profile cases. Uh, correction, you mean creators who deliver gossip and misinformation on high profile cases. This is wild, you guys. Oh my God. Ten to Life is the production of hate YouTuber and podcaster Annie Elise, who has been delivering compelling true crime coverage since 2020. Oh, um, yeah, 2020 was a Sophie Long case. This article is full of shit, biased as fuck, and a joke. Anyway, when Annie Elise covers a wide array of cases on her YouTube channel and podcast, Seriously, she takes a special interest in unsolved mysteries with the goal of shedding new investigative light on those that have gone cold. With down-to-earth and conversational tone, she breaks down investigations from your true crime bestie to her 750k YouTube subscribers. Wow. I'm this is a literal puff piece okay just blowing smoke up annie's ass and long crime is disgusting for partnering with a youtuber who does nothing but spread lies and gossip makes false accusations of crimes against people and then when you know she gets a little bit of heat or people start calling her out she just deletes everything and act like it never happened this is complete bullshit. This is total bullshit. Let's keep reading. Let's keep freaking reading. 
Lawn Crime's collaboration with Annie Elise comes in the wake of several other recent YouTube acquisitions, including The Disturbing Truth and Cops Reloaded. Lawn Crime plans to similarly expand Tend to Life's social presence on its well-trafficked channel. So pretty much Lawn Crime is going to promote Annie, cause her to get more money, more subscribers, and just allow her to continue to spread lies, misinformation, and gossip, and do nasty stuff like put graphic photos of children's ABUSC behind a damn paywall. That's what Lawn Crime is doing. And it's interesting because if I'm not mistaken, Lawn Crime was one of the channels who called out Zav Girl. So why is Lawn Crime calling out creators like Zav Girl for putting autopsy photos behind a paywall, but Annie Elise gets to partner with them after what she did? You guys, Lawn Crime did call out Zav Girl, okay? Check this video out. Disgusting. Letitia Stotch prosecutor blasts YouTube for, for selling Gannon Stotch autopsy photos. <laughs> so they're calling out people for doing this when their own partner, Annie Elise, put a child's graphic photos behind the paywall on the exact same platform. And they haven't said a word. I have not seen one video from Law and Crime about what Annie did. This is disgusting. And all while they have this child's photo blasted in their video. Let's what, read what Law and Crime had to say about what Sav Girl did. I'm not going to play the video because it's really hard not to get copyright from them. A true crime YouTuber has come under fire for selling gruesome autopsy photos of Gannon Stodge on her Patreon account. The photos reportedly show the 11-year-old boy decomposed body that was found stuffed in a suitcase. His stepmother, Letitia, was convicted of all of this stuff before locking him in the luggage and driving to Colorado to dump him under a bridge. Um, discussing the disturbing photo sale with Colorado Springs District Attorney, one of the prosecutors who helped put the evil stepmom behind bars. This is total bullshit, you guys. This just goes to show that these people do not truly care about authenticity. They don't care about the truth. They don't care about calling out like what's right and wrong in the true crime community. They, they literally just jumped on the Zab Girl thing because it was popular and the whole world was on fire calling her out when the person who they have just partnered with in June did the exact same thing. Now they weren't autopsy photos, but they were graphic photos of Adrian Jones. His parents recorded the ABUSC of him and Annie decided to put it on a paywall because YouTube wouldn't approve it. But she still hasn't answered as to why she needed to charge people for it. She could have put it for free, put it in a Discord, put it on a Facebook group, put it on Patreon for free. Law and crime is a total fucking joke at this point. And I am just really disappointed and quite shocked, actually. Let's just keep reading this bullshit freaking article. Um... As the Long Crime Network continues to deliver our YouTube audience the most captivating content, we are also focusing our attention on building an engaged community across true crime space, says Long Crime's YouTube director, Robert Soak. Our partnership with Annie Elise from 10 to Life is a prime example of our efforts to collaborate with leading digital true crime creators to bring viewers together for enhanced coverage and inclusive discussions. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. I just, I literally have no words of how ridiculous this is. Annie is one of the biggest people on YouTube that spreads information. She gets shit wrong. Like, I didn't even know until I started doing the deep dive into her how much she actually gets wrong. Like, I knew about Sophie Long. I knew about Kylie Rodney. But even the other cases that she does that are, like, solved cases or cold cases or inactive cases, you will see people flooding her comments telling her that she got things wrong. And it goes ignored or gets deleted or her fans will jump on these people who are trying to correct her. Her entire career has been built off of spreading lies and misinformation. It is complete bullshit. This is ridiculous. Then it just goes on to say, Law and Crime's YouTube channel recently celebrated reaching 4.7 million subscribers. A channel with over 4 million subscribers is partnering with this bullshit person, Annie Elise, 
who has gotten so much shit wrong, doesn't own up to it, dirty deletes it. She literally will do a sponsorship in every video. You guys saw the short I put of her sagging into a sheet sponsorship, which is talking about a gruesome crime scene. It's, it's absolutely disgusting. And I want to know what Lawn Crime thinks about Annie Elise putting graphic photos of a child being harmed. Okay, graphic photos and videos behind a paywall on her Patreon. Please tell me why she got away with that. Why did she get away with that? Why was the glare defending her? Why is nobody talking about what she did? Yet Zav Girl gets dragged all over social media, including the mainstream news. The mainstream news. Yet none of these people are saying anything, and they're all promoting Annie. Brian Enton was like talking about Annie. It's just ridiculous. It's not right. All this is the popularity contest. People don't actually care about the truth. And I want to bring up in that article, if you notice the lawn crime, they are promoting bringing captivated con captivating content, right? They're not promoting themselves as bringing you the most reliable information for true crime the most dependable information you know they're not promoting that they're promoting the most captivating the most and that article is not saying we're here to bring you the facts we're here to bring you just the facts and not speculate or gossip right so clearly law and crime is all about bringing entertainment and captivating content and pushing other popular youtubers so that they all can grow and make more money and be fine with spreading lies and misinformation. It's so fake, it's bullshit, and I am so disappointed in law and crime. So as always, I want to hear what you guys think down below. Are you disappointed in this? Like, how do you feel about law and crime partnering with YouTubers like Annie, does that change your opinion about them? And did you think that Lawn Crime was a dependable and reliable source of facts in these true crime cases that people cover on social media? Or did you find them problematic already? Because if I need to do a deep dive into Lawn Crime, you guys, oh, you know I will. Let me know down below. Do I need to do a deep dive next into this Lawn Crime Network? Because you know that I will find some shit, okay? So stay tuned. My deep dive on Annie is coming. I'm working on it. I want to make sure it's thorough. That's why it's taking a long time, but it is coming. And because Miss Annie loves to dirty delete things and hide things, it is very hard to find receipts on the stuff that I need to talk about, but I will find as many as possible and give you guys the facts. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye.